guys. guys. Welcome back. As you know, this month we're talking about cooperation. Not just cooperation, but making a habit of cooperation. Yes, this week specifically we're talking about why it's important to make a habit out of cooperation. Because we all have a part to play in God's plan. Mm -hmm. And wait, wait, wait. If we're talking about habits and cooperation, we need to bring in my close friend. Okay, do you know the habit hobbit? I don't know the habit hobbit. Okay, let's meet him. Ready? Boom! Oh, hello, friends. As, as we were talking about, I'm the habit hobbit. The habit and, hobbit. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what? What? This is my house. Your house? You are upon my roof. This is not a roof. It is a roof. All right, it, fine. It is a genuine plastic roof over my head. It keeps the rain off of my head and you are standing <laughs> upon my roof. Oh, I totally what, forgot. What'd you forget? Guys, we have a new co-host. Hey guys! Hey guys. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good! Yeah? Yeah! Let's go! Yeah. Hey, by the way, did you guys get the cooperation dust that I gave you last week and sprinkled all over your lives? How is that going for you guys? Get off already! Sorry. <laughs> what habit dust? Because, I mean, based on how all of our weeks has gone, I mean, no habit of cooperation. I mean, you remember the volleyball match? That was awful. <laughs> Really? It, really? It went 23 to zero. Really? That's not very cooperative. No, it is not. Man, I'm hungry. I, I could really use help building this light refractometer. Just do it yourself. I'm not gonna help. This is a group project. We're Just do it for me. We're partners. What? No, no we're not. All right, on three, stand up. One, two, three. Uh, hey, are you got, standing up? I, butter. Come on, push. <laughs> push. Wait, wait a second. Not cooperative. This is the wrong one. Oh! I hit the right one right here. Let me try that again. Ready, Luke? Yes. To break. Check him up. Oh, to me. Uh, oh! Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. How okay. much you need? Hold on to this on and this. then write down the commands from what I'm doing. Okay, this okay. letter effect number is not going to build itself. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to, and then we'll tighten it there and then there. Turn. Oh, turn. so we're undoing this. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit of just And then just hold this real quick and then clap that down to there. And then, and one. Boom. Finish. We're done. Yeah! Oh, Three, two, two one, go. Push. Uh, go. Yeah. yeah, we got it. Yeah, Let's go. we got it. Let's we go. won. We won. <laughs> hey, if we can use cooperation for sports, like, why can't we use it every single day? Yeah, I mean, it is used in like some of the hardest situations because you know people always need it, right? Always. <gasps> that reminds me of a Bible story. Really? It does. Yes. One day. Jesus was teaching inside a house. There was a large crowd of people listening to him. Uh, what did he say? You are a city on a hill. Oh. There were also many Jewish leaders and law teachers there. Hmm. I heard that God gave Jesus the power to heal. 
Well, I have to see this for myself. Get out of my way. Move along. Get, get out of here. I'm, I'm just trying to see something. Yes, me. People everywhere had heard stories of the miracles Jesus was performing. In fact, on that particular day, there were a few people who had a friend who couldn't walk, and they believed Jesus could heal their friend. Oh, we gotta get him to Jesus. Yeah, Jesus will be able to heal him. You guys know I'm right here. You can talk to me. Oh, right. Uh, we've gotta get you to Jesus. Yeah, Jesus will be able to. You don't have to repeat yourself. Uh, noted. Let's get through this crowd. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh. uh, no, pardon me. Coming through. Uh, uh, I think this crowd's too big. Uh, I'm trying to get our friend to Jesus. Uh, can you make way? I'm... Uh, shh. We're trying to listen to Jesus. Uh, make way for donuts. Yeah, everyone move aside and get your free donuts. Shh. Yeah, I really thought that donut thing would work. They wanted to place their friend right in front of Jesus, but they couldn't get past the crowd. So they went on top of the roof. Uh, uh, now what? We'll just roll you off your mat and so you can fall through the ceiling and into Jesus' arms. Are you crazy? Relax, it's like a trust fall. Uh, I was thinking we'd just lower him down still on the mat. Yeah, I like that idea. The friends lowered the man on his mat through an opening in the roof. They lowered him into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. Jesus saw the faith of the man's friends, so he spoke to the man. Friend, your sins are forgiven. The teachers of the law heard what Jesus said and thought to themselves. Who is this guy? I mean, who can forgive sin but God alone? Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Get up, take your mat, and go home. Hallelujah! I can walk! He can walk! Oh, thank you, Jesus! Hooray! Praise the Lord! I can walk! Yes! Yeehaw! <laughs> yip, 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 yee! It's a miracle. Oh, I can't wait to tell my Uncle Larry about this. We have seen some unusual things today. Now, how do we get down from here? <laughs> the end. Well, thanks for watching our channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. 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 Get off my roof. <laughs> 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 <laughs>